Hey y'all, how's it going? Welcome back to Mailer's Landing. We are getting ready to do a whole bunch of work in the garden today. Bill has spent the morning building this fantastic fence. He's putting this up. Um, you can see behind me like the sad state of the chicken wire. It looked great last summer, but it just did not make it through the winter. Too much snow fell on it and got squashed down. So he's been out here working on that and uh, doing a bang up job. It looks freaking great. I'll show it to you at the end when we've got it all out. I spent the morning in the greenhouse getting seeds started. We did beans and squash today. A couple days ago we got in our cucumbers um, and I, you can see over here, I started a carrot bed the other day. I hope you can see that. There's some boards on it. I have never done direct sewing before, so I am nervous about the state of that. And I wanted some backup carrots <laughs> just in case I messed the whole thing up. Like I got the boards on there two days late and we have a lot of birds in this area. So I'm, I'm keeping it moist. I've been making sure to hose in between everything and I just don't know if I did it wrong <laughs> so I'm planting backups if everything goes well and those carrots sprout under those boards I will be thrilled and I know people who will take the carrot sprouts that are happening in the greenhouse or that I'm hoping to happen in the greenhouse so we've got to see how that goes meanwhile today I'm gonna to take care of some potatoes so let's get you down here so you can see what's going on. Back in, we started late, so I would say we put this in in December. Um, might even have been like the very first week of January. We put down hay in a good eight inch thick manner. And right now I am just furrowing down in here went down to the dirt and according to all kinds of no dig people who know a lot more than me this is where we put the potatoes in right in the furrows and then we cover it up with straw I've got a little bit more straw in the greenhouse that I'm gonna come out and put on top after everything's in and that should do it here goes nothing So I got the potatoes in. That took like 10 minutes, y'all. <laughs> A whopping 10 minutes. And I think the longest part of that was the six or seven minutes beforehand where I just sort of pushed the, the hay aside until we could get down to the wet, wet bottom. And I put the potatoes in there and we'll see what happens. I did four furrows. Um, needed way less space than I thought I would so I'm probably going to put in strawberries in there. I'm kind of excited about the prospect of having a dedicated strawberry patch in the uh, Ruth Stout plot. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of blown away at how fast that went. That was pretty, pretty cool. So I put in four different varieties, um, two of which I had ordered online. <laughs> and much to my surprise, like, you can pay 16 to $25 for a bag of seed potatoes and what I got was I spent like $25 on seed potatoes and what I got was two little bags of four sad looking not sprouted yet even potatoes so I overpaid for my potatoes I did not I did not understand the distinction between potato and seed potato there's no distinction. Um, <laughs> seed potato is just a potato that you're gonna put in the ground. Next year I'll know better. I will, uh, I'll hit up the organic produce department, maybe grab some potatoes there. Um, but also I went to the feed store yesterday and I got potatoes for super cheap. Um, they're listed as seed potatoes and they all have little little eyes starting to sprout. But they were like, the expensive ones were 285 a pound. 
you know, and the rest of them were 89 cents a pound. So I splurged. I got one expensive pan, uh, one expensive bag, and I got one cheap bag, and I spent six dollars, y'all. So, um, so I put those in there, and I'm really excited to see how this goes. I'm really interested. This is a method I really want to learn more about because it's not about hard work, y'all. I'm in on that. So. Um, Got the potatoes in, we'll see how it goes. Cross your fingers, think good thoughts, send me some juju. <laughs> so we got the potatoes in and I think I'm gonna go inside and gather up some strawberries. I've got some bare roots that came in. I got like 40 plants for 10 bucks or something. It was ridiculous on a sale. So I'm gonna go grab those and get those in. All right, I went inside and I grabbed my strawberries. They have been soaking overnight like they said so and I stuck them in here with a wet paper towel on them just in case I don't know. anyway <laughs> so they come these are what's called a bare root and it looks like looks like this you can see all these beautiful feeder roots down at the bottom these are super important when we put them in the ground we're gonna make sure to spread them out a little bit kind of give them some space strawberries are sprawlers and we're just gonna bury them up to right there. That's called the crown. So we're gonna bury all the roots and everything else is gonna be up on top. I think I've got something like 25 or 30 of them here. I gave a bunch to my mom and my sister-in-law took some of them too. So we're gonna put the rest in. I gotta pick a good spot in that root stout plot because it's gonna be there a long time. These are perennials, so they will come back. Um, so I wanna pick a good spot to put them in. So come on over, let's see what we got. All right, so over here, you can see where I dug furrows all the way across to there, and I only got my potatoes. <laughs> there just weren't as many potatoes as I thought there were going to be. So what's covered up over there is potatoes. And, um, I think I'm gonna make use of these furrows that are already dug and I'm gonna put my strawberries in there. I'm not gonna lie, it feels good to have stuff in the ground, finally. So this whole direct planting thing has got me <laughs> just so nervous. Um, I think the thing that's driving me nuts the most is I keep putting in these peas. I put in peas like three weeks ago and nothing happened. <laughs> so last weekend I put in more peas and this time we put in some compost and put the peas in that. Um, and I'm just, I'm really hoping we get peas this year. Um, I would have, before this year, I would have started them indoors. Um, I have thought about maybe I should have started them in the greenhouse, gotten them going early. Um, but I, I'm just trying to be faithful. I'm just trying to be faithful. It's all so new and I really just don't know what I'm doing here. Um, so please think good thoughts for my peas. <laughs> uh, we got the potatoes in today. We've got the strawberry patch started and I'm super excited about both of these. I've never done a root stout plot before, so this is a big experiment for me. Uh, I've never even done potatoes before, ever. I've never done onions, and we're doing onions this year. So this is, um, this is a really big year for us. I'm also doing a whole bunch of flowers. I've never done flowers from seed before. So welcome to our grand experiment. <laughs> um, Sprouts galore and stuff in the straw. I have hellebores on my porch and I have wood smoke in my hair and I could not be more grateful. And I'm gonna leave it there. I will catch you up real soon. I hope your day is going great. 
Take care.